Come with me to the Global Village in Dubai. We're super excited to try out all the foods here today and cannot wait to visit every single stand, including Turkey, which is number one here today. There are so many stands here and so many people. It's a little bit overwhelming, but I guess we're going to have to find a way to make it all work. This is when I know I made a good call by going to Turkey at first because the vibe was just like Istanbul. Incredible. Merhaba. Come on. Come on. Give it to me. Fire dog. Come on up. Try, please. Ah! So we're in Turkey. Let's go see what there is to explore around this. What is that? Yes. It's good? It's very, very good. Very nice. Fig. We've got some fig. Chakuza. 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 Let's go see one more we have to explore over here. Do you want one? I actually didn't really like that. It was very sweet. Hello. Hello. No touching. No touching. No, no. <laughs> Touching is forbidden. Let's go back out. I'm out of Turkey. I'm out of Turkey right now. <laughs> yeah. I knew it was going to be turned up in Turkey, but that was too much for me at the moment because I was still super hungry. So we went to watch some of the shows they have. They have a lot of like lights and all the shows. So we're still wow, that's amazing. We're literally by Morocco. Fixing the African tea. I'm gonna take a chill pill before I get to Morocco for now. I'm on my way. I want to see India and I want to see Africa. But India is all the way back there. Uh, let's see what we can do. You want to see Iraq? <laughs> really? <laughs> we walked past many countries like Yemen, Bahrain, and decided to just go back to India to just see what the vibe was. So we are now in India, about to try some amazing Indian food. So come with me and let's go to India Town. I think this might be the biggest one in here to be honest with you but who can blame them because Indian food is simply the best but unfortunately again there was no food in the Indian section um, but then there was this performance which I enjoyed we quickly got to find out that there wasn't much food being sold in the countries but just like a bunch of clothes and you know skincare products so that was a bit disappointing, but at least the show was great. Currently even in India Town because I didn't find anything I really liked in India Town. So going to Mexico. We did a bit more walking, saw more sites to see, saw more countries. But now I was like really truly hungry. And then I came across this stand I had seen on TikTok called the Nash Burgers. And apparently they had like the spiciest chicken you can ever imagine. So I decided to give it a try. I'm currently here at the Nash Hot Food Stand and I'm about to try a chicken they say is super super hot. Apparently it's like 
so hot that it's crazy. It's called like the hot alert and it has the most ridiculous number of peppers inside it. So I'm gonna try it and give it a rating on the one to ten on how the thing. I think it is as a Ghanaian African woman, so let's see how it goes. Huh? Yeah. Oh super thing. I ordered the hottest it's, it's hot, it's hot. Okay, wait. It's physically hot. Okay, yeah, better. Thank you. Hey guys, so I've ordered the hottest chicken strip that is in this place. The spicy level goes up to a 10. Apparently, people have cried eating this. I mean, look at all that chili glistening all over it. So I'm gonna give it a spicy rating from 1 to 10. So here we go. Okay, it's spicy. It's spicy. It's like 10. It's a 10 spice. Oh my god, that's so spicy. Woo. Damn. It's spicy, guys. From Nash Chicken Tenders. Very spicy. I need a break. We're now on our way to Thailand. I'm super excited to try Thailand because you know I like my Tom Yum Goom, my Top Kum Pao, everything. So let's go on our way to Thailand now and try some new and exciting food. I think we severely underestimated how many people were going to be there because the Asian side was packed. Like, you can't even sit down anywhere. So I decided to just get some takeout and go to Africa and get like some jello fries or something, you know? So last but not least, we are here at Africa. Coming from Ghana, I have so many high hopes and so many expectations to go in there and go try some food. So let's go all the way to Africa and let's go see what we can find right now. I want time. Thank you so much. Thank you. Guys, thank you so much. I'm too hungry. I need food. What's that one? Shea butter? This is cocoa with Smells good. It smells good. Yeah. Where's that from? Oh my god, guys. Okay. Mm. So fortunately, unfortunately, that brings me to the end of my experience at the Global Village. In terms of the atmosphere and the vibes, I would give that a solid 10 out of 10 because all the workers, everything was so seamlessly thought out. So many performances, light shows, I enjoy that. But as someone who went there solely for the food experience, I'd have to give that about a 6.5 out of 10 because it was a bit all over the place and I couldn't find any food from the respective country where they're supposed to be, you know? So that was a bit of a downer, but overall, maybe a 7.5 overall.
but that was all great. I enjoyed my time there. I think I need more time to investigate like a whole day, but who has time for that? So let me know in the comment, guys, what would you guys rate this place? And see you later. Bye.